So now that we have seen how Tomasulo's algorithm works and what the structures are and so on, let's go through a long example that kind of helps you do things on exams. When we ask you, kind of do Tomasulo's algorithm for a few cycles, let's see how to do that. I conveniently came up with tables like this so that I don't have to draw everything by hand. Here we have the characteristics of our processor. Basically, this is that the load unit takes two cycles to execute the load, add takes two cycles to execute adds and subtracts, multiplication will take 10 cycles, and divide will take 40 cycles, and they're done in the multiplication unit. And the initial content of R2, R3, and R4 are like this. This is the table that gives us our instructions in order like this. So this is the very first instruction. Here we will note in which cycle which instruction issues, begins execution, and writes the result. This is basically our RAT. This is where we will say what cycle we are currently in. And this is our reservation stations. These are the two load reservation stations. These are the three reservation stations for the others. And this is the multiplication units reservation stations. The load reservation stations are all really going to be our load queue, so they're going to be slightly different from the others. Here we will just check when the instruction is in a reservation station. This is going to be what the operation is. This is where we will store the value that we have for this operand. This is the value for the second operand. This is what we are waiting for in the first operand. This is what we are waiting for for the second operand. And this is whether the instruction has been dispatched so that we can keep track of it.